Hi guys, this is Leo from Codes on Posters and today I'm gonna talk about this code here which says your most valuable asset is you, right? Your most valuable asset is you. Well, think about um, all the things that you have, all your possessions, right? You have a car, you have a house, maybe you have an apartment, maybe you have like some nice furniture, if you are an interior designer, you really like that or maybe you have a boat or whatever you or you have uh, electronics you have your gadgets or maybe you are uh, you have paintings you're you, you, you maybe you like art and you have a poster like this one uh, or maybe you have investments maybe you have a, a lot of your money is on the is on wall street right so whatever it is that you have i mean if would you would you give all of that away to save your life well i would <laughs> so the most important thing in life is your own life it's not everything and not not not, in, not anything else right so yeah i i, I believe that um we get stuck a lot of times we get stuck with uh, material things or we get also stuck in your mind caring too much about our own things or about other people but we have to remember that we as human beings as, as species as 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 maybe it can be, it sound very bad for me to say but it sounds sound very individualistic but in the end of the day we as organisms we are caring for our self preservation right and obviously there are some exceptions from that uh, otherwise like for example people some people they just suicide or some people they just rather choose to die to save someone else which is quite interesting to 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 see that uh, there are some cases where people they just value themselves less than others uh, to to reach a point where they actually kill themselves or suicide because they they just don't see they just don't see any point on living right and so they don't value themselves and it's it's quite actually sad actually to see how people reach this stage this state in their minds to not love themselves or not even give them another chance if you are in a stage like this think about your life think about give, give yourself one, one more chance or not only one but give yourself a try you know uh, because you are unique everyone is unique and everyone is a miracle is actually if you consider that for you to be here listening this video with me we, we are living in a miracle we because we were so lucky 
to actually be able to be here now enjoying the beauty of life and life can be tough life can be really challenging at some points but at the same point life is a miracle right think about it stop looking at your computer and look at the window look at go to go to see the nature if you if you live in a big city go to a park or take the take a day uh, off and go to a f nearby nature and see how, how interesting life is like how beautiful actually life unfolds in front of you and how beautiful nature is and how you beautiful you are as part of nature because we are we are animals we are natural human beings uh, we are I don't believe in this distinction between humans and nature. No, we are nature. We behave like animals and because we are animals, right? So, and each animal in the world, if you, if you look at these documentaries about uh, wildlife, uh, National Geographic, for example, like you, you, you always see the same patterns. You see that animals each individual animal just as an organism just tries to preserve itself and suicide is a very weird concept in my opinion and I I, 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 I honestly I, I confess that at some points in my life I, I was feeling so sad and so lost that I was having suicidal thoughts but I always managed to actually be a little bit smart to not fall into this trap because it, I understand there is a trap that everything is a matter of perspective right and I just don't I just think that no matter how bad your life situation is I really believe that there's a way for you to get over with and I believe suicide is not the way it's not the right way and it just life you just you just have to make the most of it you know on life because no one is going to do it for you we live in a extremely indi individualistic world and it's quite crazy me saying this because like i'm 35 and no one ever comes to me and message me asking me how I, how I am today like literally no one gives a damn about me uh, and um, it is what it is that's life that's how my life basically unfolded it to be I had many relationships and relationships come and go and that's that's just a fact of life and in the end of the day you're just there you know you might have friends you might have family you might have uh, very important relationships to you but at some point sooner or later you gotta realize that as much as you love these people and you should you should really give your love as much as you can and you should be a very lovable person but at the same time you must realize that you're gonna die alone and you gotta make the most of it through this life and you have to enjoy this life with the people that you care and the people that you like that you enjoy relating to uh, also realizing that at some point 
they they will go right and I think whenever this happens you're gonna feel really sad but at the same time uh, if you if you do love yourself and if you have some self-love inside of you the pain of lo losing someone that you love it's not gonna be that bad it's not gonna be worse than if you don't love yourself so self-love is something also extremely important for you and I think that somehow relates to this quote here it's about this quote is about valuing yourself valuing the person that you are you might be an asshole to some people and it's gonna be really hard to please everyone but at the same time it's a very important thing to love yourself and love the person that you are regardless of what people tell you and if a lot of people are saying bad things about you and and if you see this happening as a pattern that society is turning its back against you I do believe that is a time for reflection is a time to understand why this is happening and why are you damaging the feelings of other people with your actions and be very honest to yourself because you you in the end of the day what what's the point of having self love and being an asshole like a dictator bringing suffering to others what is the point i don't think that's the, the whole point of what i'm trying to say i think the point i'm trying to say is love who you are and be aware if you're hurt, hurting others and try to understand if there's something in yourself that you can change so you can become a better person so you can hurt less people through your actions and sometimes through the way you talk because I see that a lot of people they are just angry with the world and they're just angry with, with themselves they feel hopeless and they just reach a stage in their life that they really don't give a fuck about people anymore right they really give up they give up about the world and about society and I think that's something like really understandable to be honest because the world is a very mean place full of malevolence but what are you gonna be are you gonna be a resentful person the rest of your life and you're gonna be fighting with everyone you're gonna disrespect people all the time do you think that's gonna bring you happiness do you think that's gonna bring you joy in life I think fundamentally what might bring a lot of peace of mind and I, I'm not I'm not saying I'm right I'm not saying I'm not here to say that I, I know all the answers but I, ha I have a guess that what fundamentally is gonna bring you a lot of peace of mind 
is you loving yourself and seeing that the person that you are is not bringing damage to anyone, right? If you can do that, if you can love yourself and not create any damage to anyone, I really congratulate you because I think you're on the right track of being a great person, right? And of course, people will get damaged whether you like it or not sometimes. You might hurt some people's feelings without even, even wanting to, even though it's not your intention and even though you know that deep down in your heart there's nothing that you can really do right so yes it's a very difficult equation to be yourself all the times at life and not hurting everybody because people they just might get hurt is there sometimes sometimes it's, there's nothing you can do if you feel that there's something you can do to not hurt someone and still keep your values to yourself that's great and, and I think like that's what you should try to do you know because some I, I think also sometimes people just they, they they're they're living in a, in a in a world in a society such self-centered you know the, the the notion of the selfie of you taking a selfie and posting to the world and expecting everybody to to give you likes and everything we are living a very uh, weird times i would say where i feel that in the past like 20 years ago i feel that there was more humanity on people I feel that people were treating each other much better and with much more consideration and respect than they are today because and I attribute that to social media I think the new generation is basically with this this technology piece of technology in their hands which are really changing their minds in how relationship works with others so you gotta be really careful about that like you gotta be like really careful with with the social media and the kind of things that you are consuming and how you are interacting with people and it's it's crazy I mean I sent so many messages to to colleagues and people and I um, I, I get so very few replies on people like we're living in a world with constant distractions like people just hear a message and they then they don't reply and yeah it's it's getting worse and worse and crazy so don't be an asshole love yourself but don't be an asshole to others you know don't be a selfish stupid human being think about the others think about treat others how you like to be treated and sometimes it's really hard but I'm sure you can do your best I'm sure that if you want a good quality life you want to be with great company you want to have friends and good people around you 
that will support you in the tough times as you are going to support them also in the tough times because that's to me what friendship is about it's not about only giving but it's about is a give and take right that's how every relationship it is right and I think we are living in a world with most of the times dysfunctional relationships where people are like hurting others uh, sometimes without even acknowledging you know so that's why you gotta be also very very careful about this quote here because you don't want to be this kind of person that hurts the others or do things that are hurting people and not doing anything about to change right even though sometimes people even might come to you and say in your face and you go and read this quote oh I, I'm the most valuable thing to myself so I don't give a fuck about people no no it's not that we live in a society if you want to live alone go live alone in the caves but we live in a society and I think that as a community, as a society, I think inevitably we have to find ways to better cooperate with others while preserving our values and while preserving our own self. You know, the big problem happens when you want to impose your values into others and I think what what we see now in the world not only now but in all all times all the history of humanity you that's what you see you see like some human beings imposing their values into others and expecting others to follow their values even though some people they just don't want so slavery it's is a condition of thing uh, is, is, is a is slavery is is part of society and has always been anywhere uh, in, in any time of human history there's been some sort of slavery and men trying to inf enforce themselves into others by brute force which is I wonder if if it's something that at some point in our evolution I wonder if this is something that we would be able to to change in ourselves but quite honestly I'm not very optimistic about it but imagine you have a society where you don't need to go to war and imagine you have a society that you could actually do an exchange of goods and services that is mutual mutually beneficial why do we have to fight why do we do we have to want more than someone else why do we have to enslave someone why do we have to impose our values to someone why why religion try to do that why we invent these things why we invent religion why we invent governments why we invent wars why we create 
walls to protect ourselves. Why do we do this? Why human beings are like this? Why do you want to steal from me? I really don't get it. We have enough technology so everyone could could have a decent living. But you know, there's a paradox in, on that because we only achieve this technology because of the dysfunction relationships of our, our society. That's how we achieve, right? So I, I hope you, you take these things into consideration and, you know, love yourself. Don't be an asshole to others. I think that's an interesting message as a takeaway for this quote here. And so here you go. Your most valuable asset is you. Thank you very much and see you at the end.